Hey guys, so uh, as you can see here, I have my uh, Lego gun. And um, if you haven't already seen my uh, video of me shooting this, uh, just click right here. Um, it's a pretty neat video, has lots of views. Uh, now the thing is that I clearly posted a link to lkmachines.com, which uh, provided me with the plans for this uh, this wonderful gun. But uh, apparently, some of you just have a phobia of uh, clicking on links. So, and you're asking me how to build it anyway. So, here I am uh, with a video on how to build it. And yeah. So first off, I just wanted to uh, make a little demo of how this gun works. Uh, basically, you just cock it first by pulling these two rods back. Put in a brick into the front so that it goes just right there. And I already ready to shoot. Oh, by the way, I added like two more rubber bands and uh, twine reinforcement in the front to make it look a little cooler. And here we go. Three, two, one. And wow, that wasn't a very good demo. So I'm gonna do it again. By the way, this is this isn't accurate at all, but it's still a pretty cool invention. Yeah, so that's it in essence. Now let's build it. Alright, I'm just gonna disassemble this gun. Uh, so I can use all the parts because there are some uh, one-of-a-kind parts in here and uh, I don't have many, very many of these parts so I'm going to disassemble it right now. Okay, the first step requires a 4x8 panel, a 1x12, uh, actually two 1x12 uh, pieces with uh, holes to them, and three standard 4x2 bricks. So just uh, take your panel and place these on the very tips, the corners, like so, and then uh, fill in the rest with the bricks. Next, just uh, place one more, a one by four brick into there. The next part, you're going to want uh, some Technic pieces, uh, uh, five little holes, uh, parts like this, uh, two short ones, and one of these, and one of these, and one of these. So, just take this piece and uh, thread this little thing through it and attach uh, both of these on each side then uh, take your little thing and uh, thread it through the center hole And lastly, uh, take your other little piece and uh, just thread through like that. So that your end product will look like this. Then take this and uh, just take it off for a moment, place it in like so. And then uh, we attach it, and this will be uh, this will release the brick, and this will be a trigger. Uh, next, take a uh, one by four, pop it on the top, 
and then um, well I'm using two of these pieces together the instructions actually call for one of these but I only had uh, two of them which, we, which you'll actually need uh, later so I place them in here Okay, now I'm going to want to get another small piece, attach it to another one of these, and uh, thread it through uh, the very tip of the, this piece, and then I don't want the other side, like so. And then um, after that, take uh, a slightly longer piece and another one of those. And throw it through the, uh, the top like that. I'm going to want to uh, make sure it's going straight up, and then thread through the first one, and then fit in one of these. And then push it all the way through, and it should look like that. Yes, it should look like this. Okay, now you're going to want to fill in uh, both sides um, up to the very last one. So, here yeah, I'm using a uh, 10, 11, 12, up to the very last, and same with the other side. Now uh, take another piece with a uh, two by one with a hole in it, and place it in the front, and then two more little one by ones. Okay, so now fill in uh, the rest of here, and make sure you get that first. You get that corner all the way down there, so fill that in, and then get uh, preferably a six by two, but you can always compromise with. Um, different parts. Oh wait. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I did it was I got um two six by one pieces. Uh parallel. And then a four by one on each side as well. And then you got an eight by one. Of course, these are all slidey pieces, and place them in the front like that. Now fill in the back with uh, another blue four by one, and then two red squares. Okay, now get a uh, four by one with holes, and place them on either sides of the front. Then get some more uh, two by ones, and then lastly squares, one by one. Next, we're going to take uh, this kind of piece and another two by one with the hole and thread it all the way through then take uh, one of these kind of connectors and place it on that end and then on the end with the axle support uh, place a fairly 12 knobby long axle mine was a little shorter, it's like 10 still fine and then place that on top of the very end of here of the end like so 